take a seat. There's something we need to talk about. Okay, you can't take a seat, but you get the point. So, like on a serious note, side note, for the first couple minutes of this video, I'm gonna talk about something. You see this here? Let's call it an Xbox, okay? Xbox and PS4 are coming out with a new version. And we don't know, I guess I haven't looked into when that new version could be released. But with Giants coming out supposedly with FS2021, 20, 20, uh, as what we thought was gonna be FS2021, it was gonna run into a really weird issue where they're like, whoa, do we make FS2021 for the Xbox One and then the PS4? Because what if the PS5 gets released like right after that? Then it'd just be a whole screw up and it'd be pointless in making it for that. So that's one of the reasons why FS2021 is not going to be coming out this fall as we expected. My gosh, I am disappointed seeing that because to be fully honest, I'm a small YouTube creator and once, once FS2021 comes out in the fall, it's, it's really neat. It's really neat just like having early access to the game and just, man, when I remember FS19 coming out in the fall, it was cool. Like those first two weeks were just awesome. Everybody was trying to explore the game as fast as possible. I loved it. So there's a chance it could come out in November or December of 2021, but that's like the earliest. If there was even an FS, they haven't even confirmed there's FS2021. I was actually emailing them today and uh, they... They haven't officially confirmed it. It was just, you know, assumed that there would be. If I had to, if I was a betting man, man, I would guess there's going to be a new game coming out in the next, like, two years, I guess. So what they said they were going to do is add three new DLCs to the game, to FS19. And I was looking through earnings, I think, uh, a focus interactive. If, if you want my honest opinion, I think what Giants should do. By all means, I'm, in, I'm a one-sided point of view because I haven't seen the, the other side in the office space of what it's like working for Giants and building out these things. By golly, I don't have any programming idea. But from a macro, just point of view over the entire system, I think Giants should completely not make any DLC, any more DLC for FS19. I think they should drop FS19, let the modders do their things. Completely let the modders do their things and start working your butt off on the new version new game put all your resources towards the new game in my opinion because they're going to come out with three new dlcs and my gosh i know what dlcs look like from them for comparison and by by all means i'm not dissing them i'm just saying man as a strategy this is the way to go here's the 8rt john deere 8rt from giants this is what we got by no means they took some gosh dang good negotiating from giants to do this stuff up and uh to get john deere in here so that i mean that was a whole task themselves but here here's here's john deere 8rt these are the options we have okay now here's a modder that just put in this uh john deere 7r and then here's all the options we have and it has interactive tools in there some of the john deere comments have interactive tools in there so it's like modders outdo giants on everything they do now I, I shouldn't be the one talking here. I'm definitely definitely shouldn't be the one talking here. Now, if I was Giants, I'd see, man, our game really explodes once the modding community comes in. Let's start working on a new game. But, guys, they could have, like, a secret plan where, man, they are really working really hard on creating a whole new game with a whole new game engine. And they're just, maybe they're just not telling us us that. I guess it's, it's under my, my opinion that, man, if I was Giants, wouldn't work on any new DLC let the modders do their thing because modders definitely help make the game great. But you got to think, Giants, the ones who created the game, made, allowed the game to be modded. And that's a step that, that allowed it to be great, of course, too. That allowed the modders to even make mods in here. So Giants, Giants does a great job on things. I don't mean to diss here. I'm just saying actually making DLC packs and stuff. I just, I don't see, I don't see that how, I don't see that as a good route to go for Giants. Unless they're trying to pull in some good money, you know, like 10 bucks a DLC pack or something like that. Don't get me wrong, that's probably a smart business move. So, we're going to get going on RCC today. Now, since the news, and this, man, this should have been this way a long time ago. You guys are going to, I don't know, you guys are going to get kind of an overview of what we're going to do and what the whole mission is going to be. Since FS2021, even if that's a thing, I'm going to call it FS2021, just the new game. The new game that's going to eventually be released. Since I was expecting that to come out kind of this fall... It's not going to happen. We really got to... Things, 
Things are going to change up around here, I guess. So I've been spending, I don't know, the past couple of days just developing ideas of how it's going to be played out because... I mean, we maybe have two more years until the new games, until the new games coming out. And we're just going to take things to a whole new level. And you guys have kind of seen this level we've been at, but we kind of failed at the level in a way. So what it's going to mean is a lot of this, like, especially the farming series is going to be role play. It's going to be really hardcore role play. And it's going to be probably pretty scarce, I guess. Maybe there won't be a video every single day. I don't know, but it's going to be, it's going to be a whole new level. I hate speaking before you actually do something, but it's going to be a whole new level of like higher quality roleplay. We'll have Wix websites all over to run it. It'll just, it'll feel different. It'll almost feel like when we went to County Line, Iowa, episode number one. I think that was the best, one of the best roleplays we ever did. And that's how it's going to be. That's, that's how it's got to be. Like, by gosh, it just hit a car right there and I have to pull over, call the sheriff over and get a ticket. Like that's, that's how it's going to, that's how it needs to be. And that's how I think that that's the strategy we're going to go for this. And there's going to be a whole new map coming in that we're going to play roleplay on. Now, RCC roleplay. I like how I'm speaking about being so gosh dang realistic when I'm just smashing into pulls and stuff. But RCC roleplay is probably going to it's probably going to change in different ways. I think I got to get this whole thing up on a server. Got to get the mods out to a lot of people and don't got to and try not to screw over a lot of modders by giving out private mods. But it's it's gonna happen. We're gonna have more people on RCC. Uh, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. That's what I've started realizing. We're gonna go like full role play mode. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We're gonna try to go realism. So I'm pulling into RCC here, and there's a couple things we gotta do before it opens. First of all, if you guys remember, we rescued that Chevy. Nothing wrong with Chevy. Just got a ton of hate that I that somehow by unfortunate chances the Chevy got stuck. You guys actually think like I placed it there. You think I placed it there. They don't touch you. That's what you think. But no, the Chevy, the Chevy got stuck. And then we made, we turned the Chevy, don't get me wrong, looked good. We turned it into a, a nice lifted Chevy, straight pipe, dual exhaust, tow mirrors, things like that. And then got it back to the owner. That's what we did. But before this really opens for business, it was raining that day. And you guys know what rain does to grass. She feeds the, or she gives water to the grass. There's no good way to say it. She gives water to the grass, grass grows. So this place looks like a jungle around here. I'm probably gonna get a bat wing and I'm not gonna go cheap on the bat wing or tractor. We're gonna get a nice bat wing, nice tractor, no old 4020, don't get me wrong, love old 4020s and stuff, but we're gonna, this is RCC, we need something fancy, we need something nice, we need something reliable that I never have to work on ever, ever, ever. So uh, we're gonna get a new, brand new tractor, John Deere 6R, brand new bat wing get mowing this and then I'll, I'll probably pick up a rider mower a zero turn to really go around a couple places but to get this open we got to get her mode so I'm gonna back the Bronco on down here there we go and then we completely destroyed the Bronco so I'm gonna pull over by the power washer wash her off and then probably put her in a building get under there rims of course oh yeah get all this mud caked up in here Broncos put away She's all clean, and now what we gotta do is probably clean up that 450 in the trailer and then get mowing this. We also have to return the cat dozer, and I gotta do something with these trailers, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen out here, but I gotta clean this up. This is just, can't have this stuff laying around. Okay, truck's clean. Just gonna get under the load trail. Get all the mud stuck under here. Rims, of course. Then we'll just spray off the deck quick. Okay, so I unhooked the other gooseneck trailer. We're hooking up to the 40 foot big tex. Keep backing up. Okay, we got her hooked up on the ball there. I greased my ball, lubed her up, and uh, then we're gonna fold up the tailgate. Now the thing is, we're probably gonna put a John Deere 6R, a bat wing, and then a lawn mower on here, which I think will fit. I think we can get everything to fit. Maybe I should've taken the semi, but I always love hauling with, with medium-sized trucks. Now, before we leave, what I want to do is pull off all the trucks that are in any grass. Huh. I think we're actually pretty good. The only thing I may have to do is just back them up a little bit. By the way, everybody's talking about this Dodge Blinker. And I don't know if I can shut this thing off. Wait, when you get in the truck, it shuts off. Okay, well, that's it then. Once you get in the truck, the blinker shuts off. But all I'm doing is stirring up all these trucks and then backing them off the grass a little bit just so we don't scrape the trucks. 
Okay, perfect. All the trucks are backed up. That way we can swing around here with a bat wing. And just knock down this vicious grass. Okay. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's head to the deer dealer. It was about an hour and a half drive. And we actually went with something different. We did. Uh, we're still with deer. But we got a John Deere 7R. A 72, a 72 10R rated at about 245 horsepower. Which... Is a little overkill for what we need, but I thought, you know, any future purposes, the prices wasn't that much difference. And I really, I once I saw that 7R, I really love that thing. I was like, 6R, yeah, 7R, overkill. Let's go with the 7R, baby. So that, I, that's kind of how the decision came up a little bit. Uh, but, you know, the 7R is not, it's not going to sit outside. It's not even going to sit over here at RCC. It's going to sit over at the, on the other side. And we have a ton of mowing to do. When you really think about it, think about this lake we have out here. There's a campground on the other side of that bridge that I have to, or in the middle of the island that I have to mow. There's a lot of mowing I gotta do yet. So, I was like, I want something I really like. Let's go with the 7R. So we're pulling in here. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask, is that really necessary to pull that with an F450? Like can that, can an F450 even handle that type of weight squad? A 7R weighs 26,000 pounds I looked up. The bush hog is probably another 5,000 pounds. Uh, maybe not 5,000. Huh? I don't know where the bush hog is. Let's just say 4,000 pounds. So let's say we're at 30. And then I do have, and then I have a little stand on mower that I bought. A John Deere 648R. So the reason I bought this is because my house. I didn't want too big a mower for my house, but at the same time, I want something that was quick, mobile, and I could get around trees and stuff here because the bat wing can't go in some places, and this will be able to. So it had to be the perfect match to where I could mow my house with this and then also mow around here and around buildings with it. So that's why I went with the 48-inch deck. Unfortunately, I was like, I want a commercial one. I just know they're built a lot better. I didn't want a little homeowner one with a 48-inch deck, so I got to stand on. I was like, ah, we're sitting so much. Let's just stand on her now. And then here's the John Deere 7R. The 7210R uh, is what we got for this. This is going to be the workhorse. And then I did get a John Deere HX15 mower. We spent a lot of money at Deere today, but should all work out good. So I'm going to hop in the John Deere 7R, get her off of here, and then probably get the 648 off and start mowing. I mean, check this out. So we got the luxury cab in here. It's got it's got leather seats, no cloth in here, even though I do kind of like the cloth, but they didn't have the uh, just standard cab, so I ended up paying a little extra for the leather. It's fine. Now I'm just going to back this on off of here, or forward it on off of here. And there we go. She's off. 648R. Now the salesperson for this mower was uh, Buck, actually. I bought this from Buck. Uh, he knew everything about this mower. Got a little white exhaust coming out of there yet, too. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna start getting around some tight places, and then I'll come around with the bat wing. It's always tough. Do you, it's almost like, do you weed eat before you mow, or do you mow before you, or do you, or do you weed eat after you mow, after you know what spots you missed? It's always tough. So I'm gonna do as best as I can. Now we got that mod that like makes you spin when you're on grass and stuff. And once. <laughs> Uh, this is supposed to be really realistic, but it kind of is. But when you start spin, oh. so when you start spinning too much, it starts sinking whatever vehicle it's in. And my rear tires are spinning whenever I have these wheels, because the, the way this turns is really wheel weird, and it drives really weird. Because there's no way you can get zero turn in. Oh. It's just it's too tough to explain how this is working out right now. But she's a little rough. Okay, I'm probably gonna need a weed eater to get under that cable there, but we got this one done, and then we gotta move on to the next one. I I like this mower. Besides, there's only I gotta take out I gotta take out the wheel traction mod, whatever you wanna call it, because it is just messing with this mower right now. It's not doing the mower justice. It's taken care of, we got that done. Now it's pretty much just around the trees and other areas. So like around here, I don't know if I'm even, it's gonna be tough to get areas like this with the bat wing. It's bat wing time. Some of the leftover spots, like if we miss some spots with the bat wing, I'm gonna come back. But I feel like I'm just gonna do too much around the trees. 
to where I could probably get pretty close with the Batwing. But she's looking better already besides some of those patchy spots. We just got to get like a weed eater or something in here. There we go. For now, walk or the walk on mower is going right there. Okay, so I'm going to unfold the Batwing. Start her up. Maybe take the tractor easy. And there we go. We're mowed, boys. Now the what? I hate doing these little side notes, but it's almost like I have to. The one thing I would have really liked to get is, uh, and I think one of them, I think there's a different version of the Rhino that has it to where the grass doesn't, it, you don't leave grass behind. Obviously that's not a thing, but in Farm Sim you can edit it to be a thing to where you don't leave any grass behind and what is the bush hog sliding on me? But yeah, that would have been nice because it just looks, it looks horrible when you have so much grass behind here. But I think once we get like a, a rain, we'll clean it up. Oh man, look at this. So the mod I have, the I, I, it's got to be that mod, the speeding tires mod. And it, man, it's just really making me angry right now that my bush hog's sliding and I can't mow, I can't mow my grass. But uh, it's making the bush hog just slide off to the side. It works good for off-roading, but if you're going to do a lot of other stuff, you just got to take it out. And that's what I got to do. So, uh, now one of the toughest parts is kind of around the pond. And this is a place that really needs to be cleaned through here. Is my Batwing sliding in the pond? It is not. I'm surprised. So hard to mow when your Batwing wants to be in Fast and Furious 2 all over again. My gosh. Throwing a drift every corner. So we got most of this done. Now what I'm going to do is work around the side of the building. And eventually we probably got to do this strip over here. But. Hey. I wonder how much this tractor weighs. It said 26,000 pounds. Just like online. Before I bought this tractor I was doing some research. And I'm curious if we take it over the scale. She's showing 35167 with, that's with the Batwing though. What if I drop off the Batwing? I'm going to unhook her, see what the Batwing weighs. Okay, Batwing's unhooked. Pull the tractor forward. Oh! 5,314 pounds. I think, what did I say I guess? 4,000 pounds? But the question is, so I was trying to calculate weight. For how much the F450 could pull? Because F450, what they say the max towing capacity, I think, is like 35,000 pounds, which that would probably put us over. But I'm curious what the trailer weighs now, because I bet we were over max towing capacity for that F450. Okay, so truck pulling on here is showing 20,000, but we do have the trailer. So I guess I don't know if I can even get all the weight. Oh wait, no, I'll be fine. Okay, so now unfold the tailgate. So I disconnected the trailer. Well, and it's showing the trailer weighs 10,191 pounds. So 10,000 plus, what were we at? Probably 30,000? Yeah, 30,000 total with the bush hog and then the tractor. And then we also had that little riding lawnmower. Man, we were, we were overpaid. We were over... We were over the towing limit on the F450. Hey, now I'm really curious. I wonder what that, uh, that little lawnmower weighs. Let's check her out. What's she gonna weigh? If I had to guess... Ah, uh, 1,500? That's just, it. I don't even know where to start at, but it's probably, it's probably 1,200. I'm guessing 1,200. And this may not be how accurate it is in real life, but I'm guessing 1,200. 2,400. Huh. I'm just happy that this scale is actually, like, somewhat close. I'm just happy that it doesn't say, like, 30 or 40,000. Like, it may not weigh 2,400, and I could be wrong. Maybe it does weigh 2,400 in real life. But it's pretty cool how this scale is pretty, pretty close. Because like that trailer, that trailer we had over here, probably does weigh eight to 10,000 in real life, that trailer we had, the 40-footer, for sure. The tractor weighs 26,000 in real life, but we did have some weights on it, so it weighed like 28,000 on the scale here. And then that bush hog, what, it weighed like 5,000? That's pretty, I feel like that's pretty darn accurate. That's pretty cool. But anyways, uh, there's a chainsaw. Anyways, guys, this is going to be the end. RCC is going to clean it up, and I really want to get the message out at the beginning of the video. Just like what's happening with, with the farming simulator new game that we thought was going to come out, and that's not coming out. Oh, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So, we're, hold, we're changing around the whole strategy of videos, and it's going to be a lot more solid roleplay. Specifically the farming series. I want a really good solid video, like every other day out of the farming series. I don't want to push it. I don't want to push it with quantity of videos at the same time, too. Uh, but they're going to be solid, and I want them long, and uh, and that's that's the format we're really going to go. Try to really do roleplay to where, like, some of you guys that even love roleplay, I want you guys to cringe on some of the roleplay about how 
cringy it is about how we're trying to role play that hard, I guess, if you know what I mean. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And hey, I'll see you for the next one. Thanks, guys.